I just wanted to give you a little soldering tip. Um, I know there's lots of instructions on the internet from a lot of people on how to solder, but just through trial and error, I've uh, taken some tips from some of the guys and just developed my own little trick here. Uh, these helping hands are really awesome for this, uh, like everyone says, because they get these connections get quite hot when you're soldering them. Um, basically, if you set it up so your um, pin is in uh, one clamp and your wire is in the other, uh, the wire pointing down, you can adjust it so you can get the wire centered real nice inside of that clip. Just like that. And you've got the hole, the soldering hole over here um, to get your iron into. And I've got my Weller um, variable uh, power. It's a Weller WES51, um, an excellent uh, soldering iron. It's adjusted to about um, 700, well, 680 degrees. You just get that in there, let it heat up, take a couple seconds. Get your wire just where you want it. Just have to be careful not to push it off to the side. And the tip of the, the iron is touching the wire inside and the case and the outside of the connector. You just let it heat up. And then just float in. Fill that cup up. And this is rosin core solder, just because that's what I like to use. There, and just let it cool and you'll see it all uh, kind of gray over and this is really hard to do without these helping hands uh, to hold everything in the right spot and uh, even these you can feel the heat come up um, into the clamps so it uh, really does generate a lot of heat but um, with these, it really works out well. So even those are hot to the touch just now. But then you end up with a really nice, well soldered connector, just like that. And then I've got um, the heat shrink, which once they're cool, I'll slide over top and uh, heat them up, and they'll be good to go. So just a little tip there. Uh, if you guys that are kind of new to soldering like myself and just getting to know how to make these connections. Thanks.